absolutely. First thing I do when I wake up in the morning, um, it goes back and forth depending on how I'm feeling when I get up in the morning. It's either work out or do my devotionals or then do my devotionals and work out. <laughs> Non-negotiable first thing in the morning, seven days a week, 360, maybe I take one day off, four days a year. <laughs> uh, and I feel like having a, a, a wardrobe of Bibles is very important. You can't look at this and say, I already have a Bible or she already has a Bible or he already has a Bible. Because here's the thing, each Bible, the different translations, the different devotionals mm. like you get in this one, because how many devotions are you getting, Sarah May? Oh, there's over 312 yeah. devotions and they look like this. Mm -hmm. Each one is different, brings you more inspiration. Sarah May is a writer for Dayspring. I this know. Bible is called Encourage. Um, it comes with a whole community, which I think is fantastic yes. when it comes to your faith and inspiration. Mm -hmm. Sarah May is one of the authors, one of the writers within this Bible. So you're going to find a couple of her devotions that she wrote within this. Uh, we have no color choices. It's just the blue. Yes. But it's beautiful. It's, it's like beautiful. this leather ch touch embossed. This is the CSB, which is mm -hmm. quickly becoming one of my favorite translations. Yes, because it stays true to the original text, mm -hmm. but it's easy to read for the modern Easy to reader, read. Which is really nice. Uh, yeah. When I'm quoting scripture and I'm writing scripture, because I do a lot of writing as well, I will go back and forth a lot between CSB and NIV and um, King James because they each have a little bit of something in them for everybody. So get this home and give it a try for you, but I'm telling you to gift a Bible for the holidays. It does not mm -hmm. matter their faith. It is one of the most important books, if not the most important book that somebody can have in their home. Yes, and Encourage, so Encourage is an online site that is a part of the Day Spring community. And all of the writers were all about relating with other women and sharing God's love in our heart. And so what is great about this Bible in particular is that First of all, it is a full Bible. So not only does it have over 300 devotions, but it's also a full Bible with the Old Testament and the New Testament. And then we have devotional theme guides here. And so, for example, let's say you are somebody who is struggling with something really hard going on in your life right now. Uh, we have like beautiful brokenness, better together. And then what you can do is you can go to those different themes in here and it makes it super easy for you to know where to start reading the Bible. I know for me, when I first started to read the Bible, I had no idea where to go, what to do, and I put it back down and I was like, it felt really overwhelming. With this, it tells you exactly where to go, exactly what to do, because if you go to the back here, there's actually also a reading plan that's fantastic. So if you are going through something, you know, loss, anxiety, or do you just want something on friendship, or you want to know a topic about something, and you're like, what does the Bible say about this? You can come back here, and we have these 10 themes that you can look through, and there's an entire reading plan. So for example, Better Together, we have five weeks here, and every single day there is a devotion to read and a passage of scripture to read, which makes it super easy to know exactly where to go. And one other thing, if you also want to look up a topic, like you're struggling with something, you can come right back here to a topical index, and you can look up that exact topic you're curious what the Bible says, and you're going to find hope and encouragement. It really is amazing. Um, I uh, posted on my Facebook page just to kind of like a look of what I do every single morning, where I have my, my journal, I have my coffee. Coffee is very, very important. I have very my important. Bible and I just <laughs> read. And if you go in with an open mind and an open mm -hmm. heart, something is going to come out of it for you. And I think that's, I know people say, oh, it's overwhelming to read the Bible. Listen, it's, it's the number one bestseller of all time. I think, all we time. All, I think no matter what your faith is, everybody should read it because it is the number one bestseller of all time. But if you go in with an open heart and open mind, you're going to get something from it and it's going to find you. You mm -hmm. just have to find the right Bible that speaks to you. And I love that Sarah is here with this one because she has been able to take words and verses from the Bible mm -hmm. and then write about topics that are, that affect every single one of us. Mm -hmm. I don't, when we say, oh, we're going through a hard times. I don't think that ever stops. And a lot of people yeah. talk about, oh, you know what? When I just get past this season of life, when I just get to this, when this just happens, when I just get there, there's no there there is one of my favorite quotes. <laughs> we're always quote. going to have something that is hard and looming. You just mm. need to be able to find the joy within it. And yeah. this is the book that's gonna help you get there. Oh, there's journaling here too. Yeah, so this is another thing that I love. So one of my favorite scriptures is Psalm 40, which is all about how God delights to rescue us and he hears our cries. And so I just like to come down here and I like to point out certain things that I want to pull from that scripture and I want to journal about it so that I can easily see it and then I can remember. So if you're somebody who likes to take notes, you want to remember a scripture, you want to try and memorize one, you can write it right down here in this journal space, which is really fantastic. Can I tell you another awesome thing about this that I really, really love? 
is that there are 50 different profiles of women in this Bible. And they're women, I, I know a lot of times we look at the Bible and we think, oh my gosh, these women must be like so holy and we cannot approach them. But they're just like us Absolutely. dealing with loss, marriage problems, mm -hmm. rebellious kids, right. you know, anxiety. And Anna, Sarah, Ruth, Esther, these are women yes. like I would love to invite to dinner and just like pick their brains. That's like, right. Amazing. By the way, um, this is customer top rated. It sold out the last day it was uh, on air. It is a $33 Bible even here at QVC and you're getting it for 29. If you don't know what to gift somebody, this is one of the best things to do. Do it for women in your life. Yeah. Do it to members of your book club, your Bible study, whomever, wherever it is. Yeah. And three ease payments of $9.99. The Bibles that have been gifted to me have had the most meaning because I remember mm. that person when I'm going through it, which I think is absolutely great as well. Real quick, I want to show you this little chart because this is a devotional Bible mm -hmm. and there are themes within the devotion, some of which Sarah has written. Yes. So and here it is right here. You can see on the screen. Oh, Oh, perfect. Doesn't that make it nice? So yeah, there's 10 themes and so you can go through, you can look at the theme and see what do I, you know, relate with or what do I want to learn about today? So for example, gratitude, second chances, imperfect hospitality. You know, there's all of these wonderful themes, better together, everyday leadership, friendship on purpose. And so everybody, you know, is going through something or we all want to know about a certain topic or we want to know where can I find hope and encouragement in the Bible? Well, you can look at these themes and then you can go to where those themes are in this Bible and you can read a devotion and then you can read the scripture, then you can read about a specific woman in the scripture. Um, like I said, there's 50 profiles that you can do that. It's wonderful. Um, and so I just, I love that it makes it super easy if you've been reading the Bible, you know, for a long time or you're brand new to it, it's going to guide you every Something step about it. it just feels good. It just feels good in your hand. Oh, it totally because does. Because this is customer top rated, it has sold out numerous times before. Um, I, I had the um, joy of being able to pick some other day spring items to bring into QVC. And we have a whole collection now on QVC.com. Actually, the necklace I'm wearing is one of those. Yeah, so we have, have inspirational jewelry now. Mm -hmm. We have um, so many more things. We didn't want to stop at just Bibles because I know you, our QVC viewer, are, are absolutely responding to mm -hmm. the items that day spring brings us and the yeah. Encouragement and the inspiration. So if you want my necklace, she has it on as well. Yeah. That's available. There's it on the screen. It comes in a little box. Yay. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> it's a great giftable. But don't miss out on mm -hmm. this. This is sold out before. It's customer top rated. 800 mm -hmm. of, of them have now been spoken for. And when you're stumped on what to give for a gift. It's perfect. Is there anything better? Granted, this is for a woman. <laughs> I would do this for the, for the ladies. But, and you know what? Write something special in it. Underline a few passages for yes. her in there. Or just be inspired yourself and get this home. That's my uh, prayer for you today. And some of the devotions, just to say, mm -hmm. are some are really funny, actually. Like, I just opened to this one, and it says, can I get a witness for the fitness, which just sounds love hilarious that. to me. Speaking <laughs> of which... I'll be doing a little fitness here yes. in just a second. Sarah, thanks for being here. Thank you. QVC.com is the best place to go to that customer top rated item. Little quick of our, our little, uh, little quick sneak peek.